Today we're in the town of Vosong and Vosong is known for its green tea fields. Right now we're about to go into a green tea plantation called Dang Dawan. So let's check it out. These are the green tea fields, part of them. Before we explore, we're gonna get some lunch first. Now we're gonna go climb this field. Waddles. Waddle. Waddle against gravity. But the reward will be ice cream, green tea ice cream at the end. This is the oldest and largest tea farm in Korea. These tea fields have been around since 1939, but were neglected during the war in Korea. In 1957, restoration and cultivation of the area began, and here we are in May of 2021, and these fields are thriving. These fields have been used as a filming site for some popular movies and K-dramas, and I can definitely see why. Tea in Hangul is translated as cha, and green tea is called nokcha. We're going all the way up there. I was here about two months ago and you're supposed to be able to see the sea at the top, but it was too cloudy that day. So hopefully we'll have a clear day and we'll see it. God, it almost looks like a natural stadium sea. Mm -hmm. Looks like a swirly green tea ice cream. The tea leaves are harvested several times a year. The taste and grade of the tea is dependent on the time of picking. Ujan tea is harvested after winter and before April 20th. This is a premium tea and is considered the highest grade. Sejak tea is harvested in early May and is the most popular green tea. Jungjak is harvested in the middle of May. Deja is harvested at the end of May and has a tannic taste. This grade of tea is widely sold in tea bags that you will find in supermarkets. See the sea out there. I said we come and do this bench for a little bit. Yeah. Nice. So we made it to the top. It was a pretty steep hike, so come prepared. <laughs> I'm glad the air quality allowed us to see the sea today <laughs> from the top. Now we're going to continue on trail that kind of just goes through a forest and I'll see you on the other side. And we're back at the tea field. It's 
install her camera. What are you doing? Showing you how to get good shots. Ooh. Oh! Let's go get some ice cream. Let's get it. same time. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah. This has green tea, soft serve ice cream, red beans, and paste. What are these called? Mochi. Mochi, shaved ice, and yeah. red bean paste, green tea ice. Shaved ice. We're leaving the plantation now. We got some goodies. A goodie. You wanna? Oh. Well, you wanna take it out of the bag? <laughs> <laughs> we, got, I show we got some green tea leaves, loose green tea leaves from the first harvest of the season. You see it? Pretty sure I've never had it before, but. We're gonna try it and hopefully you like it. Now we're gonna go drive to the coast. It's only about a five minute drive from the tea fields that we were just at. And then we're gonna check out a traditional Hanuk style cafe, which I've been to before. And I'm really excited for Tim to see it for the first time. And when I was there last time, they had puppies roaming around. So I'm really interested to see if they're still there. So. I will see you there. I love the architecture and style of this cafe and there are so many unique places to sit. Unfortunately, we didn't see any puppies this time. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.